Good morning, it's Thursday. This is Wake Up to Business TV, your Get the Business Day Started program. I'm Richard Midson from shoutpow.com, and we're more than halfway through the week now. We are at Kingston Business Biscotti at Las Iguanas, Latin food restaurant in Kingston upon Thames in Surrey today. And uh, you can find out all the details about this event. Just go to Kingston Business Biscotti to search for that phrase online, and you get all the details about how you can come along to this. So we are going to do something a little bit different now. Today we are going to do super mentoring, as I've called it, just for better, looking for another better word for it, but we're gonna find out how this all works. Each person here has skills in a trade or in a business. And what we're gonna do is go around the table and we're each gonna try and help mentor the other guests with some advice that they can use in their business today. So what we do is we'll start off with me doing this first of all. So uh, my, my particular field is, is in the social media space. So let, let's start off with Neville. So um, I guess my first question would be, have you done much social media? <laughs> Ironically, I only got into Facebook last year. Right. And kind of self-taught, bought a little course on it, haven't actually finished the course. Um, it's not my passion. Yeah. But I realized through the Fit Camp we run, yeah. through Fit Camp, how powerful it is. 80% of all our responses yeah. came from Facebook. One, one of the key things that I always say to people is is very much about developing a conversation. And you're right, and it can be a lot of hard work doing proper social media. I was at a firm the other day who was saying, well, can't we just automate this stuff? Well, no computer can read the responses of people on Facebook yeah. and, and produce a genuine response. But one of the things that you find is that when you actually start to develop that conversation, and I'm sure you're, you're starting to find this, when you start to develop that conversation, it actually becomes fun. Yes. Because it becomes like us chatting away here, sharing ideas. When you're just putting out messages on Facebook, which are just advert, 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 it's just hard work. You think each day, what am I going to write? No one responds to it, you give up. But when you start really communicating with people, not only do you get that far bigger response, but you also start to enjoy it too. So, so I mean, my, my tip for the day would be, that's it, really get into that conversation and get on a personal level, really enjoy it. Okay. John, have, what about you? Have you you've done much social media? Do you know, a, a, not in quite the same way as, as Neville's uh, you know, bought a course and not finished it. Um, <laughs> I've certainly bought a few books yeah. and, and not finished reading the books. <laughs> good, good, good. Um, and it, I, I think it's one of those sort of topics that you either, it's a bit like Marmite, I think. You, I you think either you, love it or I hate think you it. You either love it or hate it. And I'm quite happy you sort of using it, uh, you know, so Facebook and keeping in touch with friends and family, I think. But from a business point of view, I find it kind of, I'm, I find is it a it bad one, mix. Well, it's actually, one, one point I would say here is, is it even relevant to the people that you want to reach? Well, that's, that's, that's a question. I think there is some relevance. Uh, and in fact, we have, have set up a, um, uh, a Facebook page for, uh, for our apps. And, um, and perhaps more it. now now that you're getting into the game area but in the past I suppose the, the business well, no, the business. It, well funny enough in, in the past the, the very first app we did was was uh, was a Formula One based app right um, which again so it wasn't a business app at all actually it was a, a fun gamey type thing um, and um, so we, we set up the, the Facebook page and aimed at people who were interested in Formula One and motorsports right and that was um, there's a real conversation to develop that, there yeah that's right and and, and actually we, we got I, I think within the first few weeks mm. we actually got about 260 followers yeah you know which is we're amazed you know that's wow let's go on for that but you've got to keep on keeping up some information you've got to keep up the dialogue going on all yeah. the time and that was the hard thing but I suppose with, with your new games, is there a conversation that you can develop out of your game? Is there something that can be talking about scores or techniques or strategies you can use to try and beat your games? Yeah, perhaps on, on some of the game. You see, because because it's not going to be just one game, you know, there's there's um, there's benefits for having a, 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 a Facebook page, for instance, that you know you can talk about your product or your range of products but when you start getting down to the nitty-gritty of an in individual game or an mm. app or what it might be then you know that's lost to part of your audience because mm. they don't have it they haven't downloaded that yeah so yeah there you've got to really think about where which message you're actually going to be talking about haven't you that's i mean right. uh, one point i would get out of that straight away is that sometimes social media is not going to work for a business if your target market are not interested or engaging with it or interested in what content you're going to talk about mm. then you're wasting your time anyway so don't even bother spending the time yeah but with with that particular thing you've got to come up with a fairly 
common message that you've got to run through your theme to keep people engaged with it. But if you've got a really passionate group of people, let's say some of the, some games out there like Angry Birds, developed a real following in terms, that's you know, right. that's things right. you can yeah, buy yeah. from it and all that. So then you've got to develop that conversation they want to talk about and then really engage with it. Okay, there's my two tips. <laughs> So you might notice a little bit strange there. Everyone suddenly vanished behind us. That's because uh, we needed to stop to do a bit of networking and also to bring the meeting to close as well. Now, hopefully, uh, the restaurant here, Las Iguanas, are not going to chuck us out because we wanted to carry on doing this super, super mentoring, as we're calling it this time. So I've done my bit. I've given some advice to uh, both John and Neville. Um, John, let's come over to you now. Your turn to mentor us on Sunday, what can you help us? Yeah, well, it, I was um, actually leading on from the uh, the social media sort of area, but, but obviously we still we still have, um, a, there's a lot of interest actually, and, and still a very important part of business, is uh, is actually the, 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 your website pr presence, you know, your internet yeah. presence, and actually making sure that you're coming up on the listings and the rankings, and there's there's lots of ways to, um, to actually get, you know, to promote your business. I mean, so, so you never, what, what are you, are you doing anything to, um, to promote your business online? Um, n n only on the Facebook, the social media side, um, that then links back to the and website. Okay. Because um, I, I found it a lot easier to do it on Facebook. But that's the only reason. And, and what about on, on, for instance, you know, your, your Google ranking? Are you doing anything for that? Or do you know where you are? Nothing no, like that at all. Too techy and too complicated. But, yeah, I mean, I mean, that's and that's actually ex exactly where. Um, you know, a lot of the people who come to these business events actually can help because there's a plenty of people out there who are doing um, search engine optimization, pay-per-click advertising, all that that kind of thing. Because those those are all things that, that help your business become a presence, you know, on on the internet. And in this day and age, you need to be getting to the top of your. So, is there something simple that Neville can do to sort of start looking at it even? Yeah, well, first of all, just is actually actually go 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 to your website and well, not your website. Go go to Google. And put in some some phrases where, where that you would expect your your website to come up for. Okay. So you know if it's going to be fit camp, or whether it's going to be coaching, or whether it's going to be you know herbal life. Those those things, put them up and see if you can't, your your website's coming up. And if it's not, then look down the pages and see where it's coming to. And there's a bunch of tools out there you can use. Google has some webmaster tools that you can use. And they're all free, and you can actually get an idea where you're ranking and what whereabouts your website is coming. Um, then there's a lot of work to be done, you know, which is where if you're not, if you don't understand it yourself, yeah. but there are people out there who, who can help you um, to, to actually do, you know, to, to get, get your ranking coming up. Okay. Well, no, from my point of view, I mean, a few years ago before Google went and, and they keep changing everything, don't mm. they? Mm. Um, you know, obviously my focus is very much on the social media side, but in the past I actually had a website which ranked number one for a long time for showreels. Yep. And this was in the day where you just stuffed your front page with loads of keywords like showreels, showreel, showreel, and it worked really well. But that's all changed. What, what, what do I need to do to keep up to date with all these changes? Yeah, that, that, and that's, um, that's actually a very key question for so many people. And the, the simple answer is y you can't keep up all the time. So you will find that unless, unless you're actually paying someone to, to do that for you and keep it right on top and manage it, which is a full-time job almost, then you, you know you're going to find you're going to go up and down on the rankings. Um, a lot of people now do um, they 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 actually use pay per click advertising. So that's actually paying Google for the little ads that come up. And if you have a campaign that keeps it going, first of all, it does two things. One, it when it actually gets some real people clicking through to your your website, and you 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 know you'll get some business from it. It'll cost you, but that also has the, uh, the knock on effect that it actually brings your ranking up. Um, in within the Google listings as well, mm. so you actually start getting some organic hits as well. Um, but but longer term, you you know, if your website's not ranking, you need to look at the content of your website mm. to make sure that you've got all the keywords that people might be searching on, mm. and make make sure your your content is actually is changing. Because if your content hasn't changed for a few months, then it actually starts dropping off the list. So, you, yeah, I mean, this is one of the reasons why with social media, I keep trying to update stuff mm. all the time to keep the website yeah. fresh. Yeah. But it does seem to be so much more complex oh. now than it was a few years ago. No, you, you, you know, it's, it's a bit like a, a high street shop yeah. that's selling, uh, you know, some, some clothes, for instance. And if they just sit there and leave the same old clothes in the window week in, week out, they're never going to sell a thing because yeah. they change it. So they change it on a weekly basis. And it's as simple as that on a website. If, if all you're changing is maybe 
you know, this week's, you know, favourite picture or whatever it is, just but change a few little things, just tinker with it, and it yeah. makes a difference. Brilliant. See, once again, it's fantastic advice. In fact, actually, um, Sue Reeves, who's the founder of Business Biscotti, was saying uh, on a previous show that it really is, a, when you come to these events, it's about giving some value to other mm. people. And uh, hopefully you are getting this. This is really is just a, a microcosm of what's been going on behind us. I'm pointing behind us and everyone's mm -hmm. gone home. But anyway, so this is Super Networking. We've got lots more of this coming up um, tomorrow. Neville is going to be advising both John and I on some stuff we can do. Um, I hope whatever happens for the rest of today, um, you have a very successful and very profitable business day. Over the past few minutes, you've been part of Wake Up To Business TV. Now, carry on the conversation on Twitter at hashtag wake up, the number two, biz, or go to shoutpow.com for links. If you'd like us to come to your event, it's free. Simply send us an email at info at wakeuptobusiness.com and we'll send you details about how you can use the show to promote your event. We hope to see you very soon.